If there's one thing that will forever improve your footage, your photos, it's this, backlighting. Backlighting will help you elevate your videography, your photography, and it'll help you take boring locations and make them way more interesting and dynamic. What's going on? My name is Mark Bone. I'm a director and cinematographer here in the lovely white north of Canada. It's been very cold recently, but uh, today it's just raining and four, so that's awesome. But today I wanted to talk about backlighting, and I'm actually pretty surprised that there's not more YouTube videos about backlighting specifically, because this is one of the most important things when it comes to taking photos and taking incredible video. Well, what is backlighting anyways? Well, simply put, it's the light that's behind your subject. Anything that's behind your subject between you and the camera. So I have my camera, I have a person, and there's a light behind here. Maybe it's the sun, maybe it's an actual light, maybe it's a window, but anything that comes from the back or the side, well, that's backlighting. And why is backlighting so important? Well, for one, it separates your subject from the background. It helps you make them stand out. And number two is it adds more contrast and makes the lighting way more dynamic. It creates more shadows and pockets of light. It takes what could be a flat, normal looking photo and suddenly makes it way more interesting. So I quickly went out yesterday with my buddy Jesse. Shout out to him. He has no idea how to use a camera. But first, my cat is throwing up. She wasn't actually throwing up. She just had lost her toy. Um, so immediately what I did with Jesse to get stronger backlighting is I waited till about sunset. And you can see here that the light is very strong from the background. We're getting a lot of flares, getting a lot of long shadows. It's already more interesting. So when I went out with Jesse, I made sure to shoot the same thing, front lit and back lit, so you could see the difference between them. Here's the camera front lit. See the lighting's flat. The camera's the same brightness, luminance value as the background. And here it is back lit. It's just much more cinematic. You're getting flares, we're getting more contrast. To me, it's way more interesting having the shot backlit than it was front lit. Same thing with this chain link fence. Pretty boring, but when we come around the other side to backlight it, suddenly it's a lot more interesting. We're getting flares, we're getting some highlights on the chain link. Chasing Jesse here, this is front lit. Nothing special to write a home about. We come around from the other side here towards the light, and suddenly we have a real shot here. Here's a shot of Jesse's shoes. We're front lit, it's all flat. The lighting on him is the same as the background. But then all we do is walk 180 degrees around. Jesse hasn't gone anywhere. He stays in the same place. We just turn him around and suddenly it's a way better shot. We're getting flares. We're getting this beautiful rim light. We have shadows coming towards us. There's just so much more happening in this shot and we haven't changed any camera settings. We've just walked on the other side and pointed our camera towards the light. And I feel like I should say backlighting doesn't have to be this super intense sunlight that's blaring to your camera lens. It can be quite soft and subtle sometimes. I shot this footage in a hallway and all I did was stand on the opposite side of Tessa here, letting indirect sunlight come through the window onto her face and onto her hands. And big shout out to these dirty windows. I love these. Anytime I see giant windows like these that have dirt on them, it means soft sunlight, and that's the best way to shoot portraits. Thank you for not cleaning them. It's important to understand backlighting because when you land at a new location to film or take a photo, you're gonna immediately know where to put your camera and you're gonna know when to place your camera. When you go to an office building, you're gonna to wanna to shoot on the east side of the building in the morning when the sun is rising and you're gonna to wanna to shoot on the west side of the building at night when the sun is setting. That way you're gonna have backlighting at both times of the day. And if you keep working at this technique, it applies to all levels of cinematography. We just got nominated for best cinematography in a film I just released called Beauty in the Battle. My life is a battle against time. And we actually shot that on a DSLR. And we are up against some commercials that were shot on the Aria Alexa and the RED camera, including Spike Jones commercial that he did for Apple. But we were able to achieve a high level of cinematography because we chose to control the backlighting and work with it extensively in every shot of the film. 
Sometimes we did a full silhouette with the backlighting. Sometimes it was a little more subtle. Sometimes it was even just from the side. But if you look to create a strong backlight in your scenes, you'll be amazed at what you can do and how much it'll enhance a boring location. That's the image of my lifetime. Now, sometimes when your backlighting's too strong, you wanna get a bounce out. Now, that can be a white card or a three-in-one reflector like, like this. This guy is a great way to avoid having to use lights. If you place this off to the side of your subject and you get some strong backlighting, then you're laughing. You don't even need lights. Here's a quick example from a shoot I did where I shot the people with strong backlighting. The first shot here is without a reflector and this is with a reflector. Both are cool, but you can see we have more control in the color correction when we had the reflector in. So to recap, get your camera, find where the light's coming, and shoot towards it. Put your subject in between you and the light, and you'll be amazed about the results you have. Now again, this isn't the only way to shoot, but it's one of my favorite ways to shoot, and one of my favorite ways to get B-roll. Life is a battle. and there's beauty in that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, the sun is setting, so I gotta go. And make sure to hit subscribe, like, leave a comment, those things that YouTubers need to survive. It's their sustenance, it's what they survive on. But uh, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm posting videos every week talking about my experiences on film sets. And let me know too, if you're interested about the more professional side of the work that I'm doing, I can get into the nitty gritty about my films. And I wanna know if you guys are interested about that. So leave a comment below, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.